mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you, please to invite your friends and don't forget to watch the video we made yesterday a few hours ago. Usually after we finish a video, people just watch the last one and they ignore the one before it. But if you understand, you want to understand this one, you better understand the one previously made. So I encourage you to watch it and share it. Uh, yesterday we made a video about uh, a hadith uh, where the Prophet of Allah, may Allah be on him, uh, said that in the heaven every Muslim he will have a certain number of women and here it's 72 Muhammad is stuck with 72 uh, and this is the lowest reward by the way and uh, the issue with this hadith or story that Allah will import from the hell fire certain kind of women who have a special features desirable front passages and we ask the Muslims to tell us what is the desirable front passages. If you go and read the comment, we have more than 800 comments already. And not a single Muslim is willing to tell us what is the desirable front passages for those women. There's a guy, his name is Sam something. He keeps saying, <coughs> read, read uh, the Old Testament. Uh, read uh, uh, Deuteronomy uh, uh, 28, uh, you know. See how bad the Quran, I mean, we, we go read it. What's, what's wrong there, Abdul? What's wrong? In the whole Quran, there is no punishment for rapist. In there, there is a punishment. And, you know, they keep saying, repeating the same thing, trying to avoid the problem in their religion. But, but just because the Muslim, they keep saying, read it. Okay, we'll read it for you. What, what exactly will happen? What do you think will happen if you read it? And actually... I challenge the Abduls to find me a punishment for rape in the Quran. Where does the Quran even speak about rape? Muhammad God, he have time to talk about the ants speaking to Suleiman. Suleiman listening to the ants speaking to the birds. The Prophet bashing his uncle. The wife of Muhammad telling the story of Muhammad, the secret of Muhammad to the neighbors of Muhammad and etc. You know. And it's not a problem for you to eat in the house of your parents or the house of your sister or the house of... But he have no place in the Quran to tell us what is the punishment for rape. He never mentioned even the word rape, not even a single time. The reason for that, because Muhammad himself is a rapist. So if we go now and read for you the uh, uh, from, from the Old Testament, uh, this book which you insist to read. Actually, I will open my Skype. And I challenge the Muslim to find me verses like this in the Quran. What is the solution if somebody rape a woman? What is exactly? So Muhammad and our people who they are avoiding the stupidity of their prophet and thinking if they say, okay, I will find you a problem in your book. But even if there is a problem, as you claim, that will not change the fact that your prophet is a perverted man.
He is a perverted man. When a Muslim, he try always to avoid answering a question we love. And today, actually, we are going to expose many lies they have. So here we see uh, one of the Muslim he posted in the comments saying, "Oh, the women of one of the women who will be imported from hell, she is the wife of the Pharaoh." But this Abdul he forgot that the wife of the Pharaoh supported she's a Muslim. So how she will be imported from the hell? What's wrong with Muslims? And by the way, the Muslims are so confused, as usual, because they are following the most stupid prophet ever. If you open the tafsir to read who is the wife of the Pharaoh, first of all, Muhammad, he claimed that the wife of the Pharaoh, her name is uh, Asiya bint Muzahim. Then you look at the name, the name, the name does not look like, doesn't sound like an Egyptian name. It sounds like an Arabic name. The Muslim, they say to you, oh, she was a Jew. <laughs> She, she was a Jew from the people of Moses. <laughs> Some other tafsir they say she believed in Moses, which means Moses God. So it doesn't matter where you go, you will find that this woman, either she was, according to you, she was a Jew by birth, and those who believe in the God of Moses at the time of Muhammad supposedly are Muslims. Isn't you Muslim? You say Moses was a Muslim? Which is a very funny claim too, and this is why we see in the hadith where Musa he say that he believe in the original sin. He don't believe in what Muslims believe today. Uh, if you remember, Musa he said he was debating Adam, <clears throat> and he accused Adam that because of you we are out of heaven, and this is this is a. This is a Christian belief that because of Adam we are out of heaven, original sin. Uh, Moses, the Muslim, he is obviously no Muslim because this is after death, this is in heaven supposedly. Because Adam never met with Moses, right? So after they die, and here it's funny too, because according to Muhammad too, he will be the first one to be resurrected. So how in the world Adam and Moses are in heaven? But anyway, a fool speaking, listen to him. So when Moses he say and he claim, uh, as Muhammad claim, that he is arguing with Adam, blaming him for being miserable out of heaven because of his sin. Adam he says to him, "Are you blaming me because of something Allah he wrote in my faith before He created me?" And as you see, all of those hadith is sahih. Now here we need to remember the Muslims they play the game of sahih and 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 daif. Daif mean weak, but weak is accepted. This why it's called weak. You see, if something is rejected, why is going to be even in your book? So the Muslims always they try to find a solution. Anything is embarrassing, they will say to you, Daif, my friend, it's in the book for a reason. Because if it is not good, they will not put it there. So Daif is a rank. The same as you say A, B, C, D. So the stupidity is amazing. If you go and walk, watch the, the video of Sheikh Hamza, he, and I will quote him saying, weak hadith is a weak argument. Weak hadith is a weak argument. Those people are desperate to find a solution to run away from the stupidity of their prophet. And today we will discover more stupid things. If we go in, the, uh, uh, in YouTube, we will find tons of videos. Speaking about the amazing discovery of the Pharaoh Mimi, Susu, Dudu, all of them, they have videos about it, but we will not play many because one is enough. If we ask the Muslims, who is this Pharaoh, which the Quran discovered that his name is a Pharaoh and that he is a title the Quran discovered and his body preserved and etc. Look what they will say. Quran states that the Pharaoh of Moses was arrogant, exalting himself to the position of God. Modern archaeological discoveries have proven this to be true. Ramesses II built the great temple at Abu Simbel to honor. Did you hear it? So the Muslims, they say that Ramesses II is the Pharaoh we are talking about. But, and they say to you that Allah, he preserved his body. Do they say so? Yes. Himself, 
Its entrance is flanked by four colossal statues of Ramesses II, which dwarf the statue of Ra Horakti, god of the horizon, located above it. This mm. temple also contains an image of Ramesses. Yeah, tell us, tell us about the Quran. Tell us about Quran. Let's, let's move to the Quran, so we can laugh. Where is the Quran? Yeah. So the Quran will tell you that uh, 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 Allah He preserve uh, the body of the Pharaoh. Anyway, let's go to different sheikh because he will say it right away. Um, not this one. Not this one. Where is the other one? Hold on. There's too many dummies. Hmm. Here we go. We found another dummy. So the Prophet Salam Salam only repeats what he hears exactly the remember muslims the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he only repeat what he hear uh -huh. <laughs> this is exactly what we keep saying <laughs> he's a he's a fool <laughs> angel jibril is a representative of allah and tells him to recite he recites okay and what he hears he recites and the people recite the same thing and we've been doing that mouth to ear and ear to mouth ever since. Uh -huh. In the Quran, yeah. there's a statement. Tell us. A strange statement. Please, no way. That was actually discovered by a non Muslim uh -huh. in the early 70s. Uh -huh. He was one of the world's top surgeons and lecturers, mm -hmm. scientists from France, Dr. Maurice Bukai. Mm hmm. He was asked to go to Cairo, Egypt, to examine mm -hmm. the corpse of a mummy. Just to show you how we strip at the Quran and how we strip at the Muhammadan when they defend the religion. He just they say the word mummy. So how Allah, he preserved him when the word mummy mean that the Egyptian, they made a surgery for the guy and make him a mummy. I mean, do you see the stupidity? And then he will say to you, we heard already, they are saying Ramsey is the second. Okay. But if we go and check, and I want Christians to listen carefully. This is how you can refute those dummies when they say the Quran discovered the Pharaoh, he's the king, etc. You know, uh, you know, you ask them, who is this Pharaoh? They will say to you, Ramsey is the second. Ask them what his name, sorry, his wife's name. They will say Asiya. His wife's name is what? Is Asiya bin Muzahim. This is Ibn Kathir. But if you go and search in Google for Ramses II, who is the wife of this guy? You will see she was Nefertiti. So how Nefertiti became a Siyah bin to Muzahim? And how Nefertiti, she became a Muslim? Do you see how easy to get them busted? They can lie about the name of the Pharaoh because the stupid Muhammad he thought actually the name the Pharaoh is a name Muhammad he never thought that Pharaoh is a title this is why the Quran keeps saying Pharaoh said that, you know you see in Arabic and different from English in English you have to say the, the Pharaoh right in Arabic he says Imra'ata Pharaoh here read with me Imra'ata Pharaoh like you want to say wife uh, uh, Musa's wife here uh, 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 Pharaoh wife not the Pharaoh wife because Muhammad, he think that this is a name. This is why in the Quran, if we go, we will find that Muhammad, he keeps saying, al Fir'aun. Al, in Arabic, it's not really an Arabic word. Al is not an Arabic word. But anyway, we will let it go. You will find, when we saved you from Ali Pharaoh, Al is a word you add be, be, before an, an individual name, not a title. Ali Musa, the family of Musas. Al Pharaoh again. Al Ibrahim. You see, Al Ibrahim. Ibrahim is a person. Abraham. Al is the family of Abraham. Very simple. So you add the word Al before a name of an individual. 
Here they translate the word Al as people of Abraham. But the fact what well, Abraham does not have people really. I mean, this is his family. I mean, what Abraham he he left his he left his people, right? He left his people. He have no people except his family. So Alu Lut, Alu. Here we go. Al Lut. Al Yaqub, the family of Jacob. Nineteen six. See, here the posterity of Jacob. This is what Al present. So when the stupid Muhammad he say Al Faraon, he think that for a Pharaoh is a person. His name is Pharaoh, not a title. So number one, number two, as long as the Muslims agree that their prophet he gave them the name of the wife of this Pharaoh, and her name is Asiya bint Muzahim, as we see in the screen, then Muhammad again is a fraud because the wife of this Pharaoh. Ramses the second is Nefertiti is who Nefertiti do you see how easy to expose their lies this is a website from Egypt <clears throat> and the one the the the, the uh, like the one is making the article is a Muslim too this is Egypt today ancient Egyptian queen Nefertiti King Ramses the second wife do you see it <laughs> so do you see how you can debunk easy the stupidity of Muhammad well Muhammad he gave the name of the wife of the Pharaoh he is talking about and he claimed that even she will be his wife in the bed the stupid Muhammad he is perverted to the point he said that his God he promised him four women one of them is the wife of the pharaoh even the sister of noah actually the wife of noah sorry no sister of noah hold on let me remember this is an old story i did not read for long just to be sure but this is how perverted this man is uh let us see uh Lord have mercy. <laughs> All right. So look, let us read here together. That the prophet of Allah, when he go to the heaven, he is going to marry the following women. The Virgin Mary, the mother of Isa, Asiya bint Muzahim, the wife of the Pharaoh, Kalthum Uhtum Musas, and Kalthum, the sister of Musas, and uh, here I don't see the, 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 the wife or sister of Noah. Must be in different hadith. Let us see. Yeah, we will find it because there is one woman more so uh, here you notice how, how how sick this man but here we go I should hear the hadith uh, Allah he promised him from from the women who they have previously married Asiya bin to Muzahim the wife of the Pharaoh and the sister of Noah so I was right and from the virgins Maryam the daughter of Amran and the sister of Moses this perverted man Muhammad, he wanna sleep with every woman, famous woman was exist before him. This is how perverted he is and mentally ill. This is a clear sign of mental illness. But with what Muhammad he did here by making his stupid statement, he got all the Abdul busted because the wife of the Pharaoh is not a woman. Her name is Asiya bin Muzahim. Is evident that the Prophet, may Allah pray on him, will marry in paradise Maryam the Virgin, the mother of Jesus, peace be upon him, and Asiya bin Muzahib, the wife of the Pharaoh, and Kalthum, the sister of Moses. So, Christians, when Muslim they say to you from now on that Muhammad or the Quran discovered the Pharaoh, tell them how you stupid prophet claim that the wife of the Pharaoh, her name is Asiya bin Muzahim, 
when all historic evidence pro prove that she was not and the real wife she was Nefertiti I, th I guess there's a huge difference between Nefertiti and Asiya bint Muzahim and all of us we knew that Nefertiti she was not a believer so the Quran claimed that the wife of the Pharaoh is a believer Do you see how we can get the Quran busted? This is a stupid book. In chapter 28, verse number 9, speaking about the wife of the Pharaoh, and there is many hadiths too, and all Muslims agree, this is why Muhammad, he will have the wife of the Pharaoh, because she's a believer. All Muslims believe that the wife of the Pharaoh, she was a Muslim, she was a believer, therefore she will be, the Prophet was promised to have her in his bed because he's filthy. So the wife of the Pharaoh, according to the stupid Quran, she was just another Muslim woman. But history proved the opposite. The wife of the Pharaoh, she never believed her in the God of the Jews or the God of the Christians or the God of the Muslims. Her name was Nefertiti. I'm not expert with the with history. I mean, I'm not a historian in the Egyptian uh, 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 history. But you can go right now and search the ancient Egyptian queen Nefertiti. She was the wife of who? The King Ramses. And as you see, this is the Muslims uh, uh, article. Here it says, this is the article when it's supposedly, and you know, described for you. Uh, Nefertiti, uh, okay, being a queen daughter, blah, 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 okay, you know, yeah, yeah, the mean of Nefertiti, beautiful companion. You know, graph okay she was King, uh, King Ramses II showed a great love and appreciation toward the Queen Nefertiti through a number of uh, blah, 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 blah. so look how how the hocus of Islam work Nefertiti she became a Sia bin to Muzahim Nefertiti she became a Muslim <laughs> Nefertiti she was a Jew <laughs> I mean how far stupidity can go how far how you know how far how high the camel of Muhammad can fly I mean do you see the stupidity and here you ask yourself how in the world and why they change even the name how Nefertiti she became a seer and been the daughter of Muzahim. Nefertiti, she was the daughter of Muzahim? Really? But there they are saying she is a daughter of a king. An Egyptian king. It turned to be the Quran telling the truth. This is how stupid this cult is. And guess what? How many videos the Muslim they have saying to us, Allah, he saved the Pharaoh body. Allah, amazing discovery. They found water in his chest. Blah, 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 blah. Look at this Muslim. Listen and love. How Muslims expose each other. Now, you proclaim shahada after all of your sins and you were among the corrupt? No. We will save you. We will save your body so that you would be assigned to those others from your community. And this is a misconception. Uh, I want people, the admins, when we are live on air, please don't post 
links for any YouTube video. Because when you do that, people will click and they will leave our page. So please, for the last time, be smart. Don't post videos. You can post them in the comment later. When we are live, when we are live, don't be Abdul. Hey, my admins, don't be Abdul. I don't hire Abdul here to help me. When you post a link of YouTube, people, they click, they will leave. So how smart is that of you? Genius. Listen to this guy. Focus with me, please. So Muslim, they claim that Quran discover a preservation of the body of the Pharaoh. But we just heard the other guy saying it was a mummy. So it was not Allah who preserved it. And this guy will confirm that. Your sins and you were among the corrupt? No. We will save you. We will save your body so that you would be assigned to those others from your community. And this is a misconception among a lot of the Muslims. They think that this ayah is referring that Allah saved his body. So one of the pharaohs, one of the tombs, one of the mummies is the actual pharaoh who was with Musa, peace be upon him. And this is not true. Allah saved him for those at his time, for, the, for his people. Not that we would see him now. And somebody said we went and did an autopsy on this mummy and we found that there was water in its lungs, that it died drowning. All of this is uh, um, bogus and not authentic. So yes, he died as a kafir. And he see? So all the Muslim videos about the, the discovery of Ramses II to be the Pharaoh, and blah, blah. Allah, he saved his body. It is a mummy. Allah did not save his body. Like, did Allah take his body and put it in a shelf? Did Allah preserve his body? Or they have to take a surgery as they do it for all the kings and put some, you know, whatever chemical inside. And stupidity is amazing. And this guy is getting them busted too. So it's a mummy. The mummy, Allah did not save the Pharaoh for now, just so we can see. Allah saved the Pharaoh for that time, is what he said. So all the Muslim claims is a lie. For the wife of the Pharaoh is not a Siyah, as the stupid Muhammad, he said, the wife of the Pharaoh is Nefertiti. So anytime a Muslim Abdul, he says to you, that the wife of the Pharaoh, sorry, the Pharaoh Ramses II was discovered in the Quran, tell him then how the stupid Quran says that the wife of the Pharaoh, her name is, or the, your prophet saying, her name is Asiya bin Muzahim. And this is exist in every tafsir of Muslims. Every tafsir. And this is Ibn Kathir, as you see. If we search right now, was Asiya bin Muzahim a Muslim? The answer for sure will be, yeah. Actually, we showed you already that Allah, he promised Muhammad to have sex with her. Why? Because she's a believer. She will be in heaven. Even they claim that she was a Jew. She's from the people of Moses. This is Tafsir al-Thalabi. And Pharaoh, let me see if I can translate to English here. Maybe that will work. Here we go. Tafsir al-Thalabi. The, the Pharaoh had, uh, had married one of the most beautiful women of the children of Israel. Her name is Asiya bint Muzahim. <laughs> <laughs> you see, <laughs> so based on this stuff, see, or she is a Jew. <laughs> and not only she is a Jew, her father, she have an Arab name, you know, like Muzahim. <laughs> the Fertiti became the Fertiti, the daughter of the king. She became, the king of the Egypt became became the daughter of Muzahim, and she was a Jew. This is Tafsir, Aysar uh, uh, Tafsir, Abu Bakr al-Jazari, al or Jazari. 
Uh, Pharaoh, we are reading as it says for you in English here. You see, this is Google translation, not in Arabic. Asiya bin Muzahim, who believed in Moses. Here, she is not a Jew. She became a believer. <laughs> I mean, look, we are jumping from line to line. Each tafsir gave us different answer. One she said that she was a Jew and she is from the people of Israel. The second tafsir, she was, a, she believed in Moses. She became, a, she became a Jew. Alhamdulillah. Uh, uh, Surah Al-Qasas, Muhammad Matani, this tafsir. And women of the Pharaoh said, women, blah, 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 Pharaoh, blah, blah, Asiya bint Muzahim. Look, this guy is giving you even more names. Asiya bint Muzahim, the, the son of Ubaid, Ibn Riyan. Like, what the heck? Ibn Al-Walid. Like, Ibn Al-Walid, this guy, he became an, uh, uh, like an Arab to the bones. Not only now, now we have 20 names after his name. So Asiya, the daughter of Muzahim, and Muzahim is the son of Ubaid. Ubaid is the son of Arwayan. Arwayan is the son of al walid All Arabic names. All of those are the, the, the fathers of the uh, Asiya bin Muzahim, who was the pharaoh of uh, Egypt at that time. Yusuf as Sadiq, uh, peace be upon him, according to his opinion, she was not from the children of Israel. <laughs> Look, this is how this is how we clear the Quran. One line she says she was a believer. The other one she says she was a Jew. The other one says she was not from the Jews. Let us continue. Uh, okay. Al Qarni, Ali Al Qarni, Asiya, uh, uh, the Pharaoh uh, wife. Uh, she uh, she was an Ish, but she was an Asian girl. <laughs> This is translation is funny, by the way. They translate the word Asiya as Asian. It doesn't say that in Arabic. <laughs> this is <a> Google trick. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I had to, to mute the microphone because this is too much. This is going nowhere. So every line gives you a different uh, opinion to explain to you. But what is what matter for us is what their prophet told them. That this woman, she was a believer. And obviously, she was a Muslim. And obviously, her name, no Muslim can doubt about it. No, no Muslim can say, no, her name was not Asiya. Every single Islamic book agree that she is, her name is Asiya, as their prophet said. So, the prophet, he mentioned the name of the Pharaoh as a Pharaoh. This is his name, which is a stupid mistake. And the prophet, he mentioned that the wife of the Pharaoh is Asiya, which is a stupid mistake because it is Nefertiti. And I encourage all the Muslims to go and search for Ramses II, who his wife was. And actually, this is what I did. Me, myself, I'm, I, as I said, I'm not a historian. I do not know much about the, the history of Egypt. Uh, I just type Google, you know, who was the wife of Ramses II? As long as the Muslims agree that this pharaoh was Ramses II, and and this is the, this, the pharaoh was existing at the time of Moses, and Muhammad, he mentioned his wife's name, then there's no doubt that Muhammad is a fabricator. Do we have any Muslim want to call us to make a comment? Or you will repeat the same thing as you always. Muslim, this is what they do. We tell them, look how we stupid at your Quran. Read uh, Deuteronomy for us. Uh, chapter Deuteronomy. Uh, Abdul, do you see the stupidity book? Nobody. Do we have any Muslim? Hmm? I want to know how in the world that Asiya bin Muzahim become Nefertiti and how Nefertiti she changed her name. You know, guys, do you think that she changed her name later? I mean, things can happen. <laughs> and look, they give you the name of her father bin Muzahim. 
But this this woman, she is a daughter of the of a king of Egyptian king. If you can search, you can find who is who his father name. I don't know who's he. <clears throat> uh, uh, but but and the stupid thing is, the Muslim they say that nobody knows that uh, uh, the Pharaoh claimed to be God, but the word Nefertiti, the word Nefertiti mean beloved of the goddess. So her husband is who beloved her, and he is God. Here in the Muslim website, it says, she appeared in a royal uh, scene during the King Ramses uh, time. Ramses II got married to her before a skin a skin in the, the throne. So before he even he married her, before he became a, a, the, the, the king. But already he's the son of a king anyway. So he is the crown prince. And she is a daughter of a king, and they are both from our same, you know, royal supposed family. So when Muhammad he come with those names and this fabrications, Muhammad he help us more to understand that he is nothing but a fraud. He is nothing but a fraud. Any Muslim have a comment? Anyone? <clears throat> Uh, Ahmad Faisal saying Western European women and Indian women and Russian women are converting to Islam well as I know too maybe maybe this is true there's women they are converting to Islam but after they convert to Islam my friend they leave Islam and then they became an enemy to Islam as soon their husband leave because those people did not convert to Islam they marry from a Muslim and when the husband leave you know they spit at Islam and they make their children not Muslims same time, uh, uh, here we have every day, every day, a lot of Muslims leave Islam. And we, we make them leave Islam not because we marry them, not because of sex in the bed. We make them leave Islam because we convince them that your God and your, your religion is a stupid. And look what we are talking about. We are showing you that your prophet is a perverted, sick person. He is a liar, and you say to us, women, uh, Russian women, you know, okay, well, there is Muslim women, they are marrying and Muslim, go watch the news. They are marrying and Muslim, and they became not Muslims, and they leave Islam, and blah, 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 blah. Al Jazeera TV says 16,000 Muslims leave Islam a day. This is your Al Jazeera TV, the terrorist TV. A day, not a year, not a month, a day. Six, more than six million a year. According to Al Jazeera TV, you can go and search it. So the Muslims, they try always to avoid answering our questions, which is hilarious, stupidity of Muhammad, by saying, there's an Indian woman, she convert to Islam, and there's, Abdul, they will leave Islam as soon they watch my videos. Just wait. Already we have my, my books translated in Russian, in, and soon we will publish, publish my book in Persian. Just wait. So now even the Pashtun they will, they, they will read, the Afghani, the, the Persian, all those people who speak this language, they will read my books for free. Just get ready. So they cannot answer us. They come to us and they say stupid things. And by the way, your prophet, he says, Islam start as a small will end as a small. Are you saying your prophet is a liar? Thank you very much. We agree. So when your prophet, he says, -Islam -gharib. So Islam start as a small, tiny, little, tiny religion, the same as the, will, the, the, the penis of Muhammad and will end back in the same size. So Muhammad, when he became to a prophet, suddenly he claimed that his penis is so big. Suddenly, his penis became so large. But all the hadiths confirm that Muhammad, he don't have even a penis. So this religion depends on the penis, as you see. Muhammad, he keep talking about penis because he don't have one. Isn't it Muhammad, he said, I was the most weak person between all mankind in bed, in sex, until I invoke Allah and he sent me a dish of shish kebab. Have you ever heard of a God? He fixed the penis of his prophet by a dish of shish kebab in the kitchen he made. This is your prophet. So if you have somebody who converted to Islam, please tell him about the penis of the prophet and how Allah made a miracle, fixed the penis of the prophet by going to the kitchen, making shish kebab, making like, you know, put some uh, onions, some spices, Indian spices, curry, and he put like some words in, in the top of it. And he said that the prophet and the prophet peace like boing, boing, alhamdulillah, the penis of the prophet is functioning so good. We have a high birth rate, but that will not help you, my friend. That is killing you because simply you cannot feed them.
you have a high birth rate so you know die die as poor <clears throat> the, the uh, should i show you sh shall i show you how uh, how your high birth rate is working let me show you just you know just to remind you <clears throat> Here we go. This is your high birth rate. It's not going to help Islam. It is useless. That is your death, not your not your victory. These days, you know, victory in war or you know, etc. is not about how population. We have six million Jews, they defeat a billion Muslims. So this is your high birth rate. I think it's fun. All right, here we go. This is the train, and those people from Bangladesh, they are trying to get inside the train, brother. And because the train doesn't fit, because of the high birth rate, <clears throat> Alhamdulillah, we are very smart people. The train is covered from the top, from the bottom, underneath, in the shelves, in the cabin, in the windows. I mean, we, here we go. This is the train in, in Bangladesh. Hey, Faisal. Did you take the train? When the last time you took a train in Islamic country? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just you know, you are wasting my time. You have a high birth rate in 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 those countries too. Alhamdulillah. Still, you are going to be poor and you will be nothing, because all your kids will be thrown in the street and they will have no education. And our kids are the smart, the educated. So your birth rate will do nothing. At the same time. Those kids who you throw in the street who have no education, as soon as they watch our videos, they will leave the garbage of Muhammad. And this is how the Muslim they try to change the topic about our birthright. My friend, I can bring you, I can call now two, two Mexican women, they can beat 10 Muslim, Muslim women in birthright. You go to a Mexican house, you knock at the door, you say hello, senora, she have a kid in her shoulder, one in her, in her belly, the other one is holding her foot, the other one is holding her hair, the other one is jumping in the kitchen, the other one in the bicycle, and the other one is saying, Mommy, where is Daddy? So don't talk about birthright. This is not a victory. This is this is this is have nothing to do with religion and God. But because you Muslims are silly and you have a stupid prophet, you claim that your religion is true because you have high birth rate. I say that your your birth rate is going to be the disaster for you. It's already the, the disaster for you. Birth rate of Muslims <clears throat> is going to destroy their life. It's destroying their life already. And you will notice that Muslims who they are rich, they don't have, you know, too many kids. Only the poor one. Why? Because they want to use them and abuse them. Many kids is not because they love kids, but because they don't have security. They have no life. So a person, he is a Muslim, he is in Bangladesh. He said to himself, I will have 20 kids. So when I get old, if every one of them, he give me a dollar, I will live. So they are selfish. They don't care for the kids. They don't send them to school. They don't have education. They don't have any health. Die, they live, who care? They throw them in the street and that's it. If you go in the Middle East, you will not find a single Christian person cleaning shoes. I'm talking about kids. But if you go in the Middle East, you will find Muslim kids cleaning shoes. Those are your kids. And this is what we see in the train here. How many people they might feel down and killed, get killed with this train? If such a thing happened in any country, respect itself, the prime minister will, will, will retire, resign. But in Muslim countries, human life does not exist. For Muslims, they consider a human as an animal. So one of the things about your religion, it make a human value zero, nothing. Because Islam is religion of an animal, his name is Muhammad. Instead of focusing in the quality, you focus in the count, in the quantity. Here we go, we have the six million Jews versus all the Muslims. All the Muslims now are buying weapons from, from, from Israel. What your population can do? Nothing nothing and those who go to Europe most of them they are leaving us now go and see your daughter go and check how many Muslims they are speaking online about their daughters dating someone who is a Christian or dating someone who is an atheist and do not know what to do how many of them they want to go back 
home because their daughters are out of control. Go and see how many Muslim girls get killed by their parents in the in the West because their girls are sleeping around. So when you go to the West and you claim about population you have, you have no control of this population. Those kids, they will grow between the Western and they will see Islam is a garbage cult religion and they will not follow it anyway. They prefer to follow hippie better than following Muhammad. Actually, I saw in the news a woman and her two kids and her son-in-law they chase a girl because she is dating non-Muslim and she is sleeping with him. Really, she is going to have a child soon, but she is not married yet. They went crazy because she is doing that. And then they went, they chase her in a hotel. They start beating her. And now they will face at least between seven to 10 years in jail, especially they endanger a child inside her. So those are stupid Abdul who come to this country or other countries and they think they can control their daughters and their sons. They are dreaming. Your kids here, they will not be Muslim. The majority of them, they will leave Islam. And even the one who try to resist, he will make a new religion. It's called Islam. As an example, you will see if I go right now and search articles about Muhammad, about ISIS, you will find million articles saying ISIS is not Islam. When everyone true Muslim, he knew that ISIS is Islam. Why? Why Muslims saying ISIS is not Islam? Because there's no Muslim no more. Name for me one thing ISIS did is not Islamic. You cannot, anyone, any true Muslim, he knew that the true religion is those who follow from ISIS and Al Qaeda. So when the Muslim they deny ISIS, they are denying Islam. So what we have today, we have Mimi Hijab wearing jeans, taking off his T-shirt in the front of the Chinese embassy, but he don't dare to do jihad. He is not a Muslim. All of you, you know that. That guy, he don't even say the word inshallah ever. I have to school him about it. All of those Muslims who claim to be defending Islam, even those who they are very active, they are fake Muslims. When the last time they join jihad, when the last time they say we are going to join, here we go, in, in, in England, they consider Hamas as a terrorist organization. When the Muslim, they will say Hamas is not a terrorist organization, we will do jihad against England, they will not dare. All those YouTubers, they, they, they are potatoes, they don't dare to speak about it. So they, what, they, what they do, if they claim to be Muslims, the, part, the, the one who claim to be active Muslim, they try to adopt the situation and they formulate a new religion of Islam. So is, is okay, Christian Prince, he insult the prophet every day. What is the punishment in Islam? We kill him. What is the Muslim to kill me? There's no Muslims in America. What happened? Because but nobody want to follow Islam. Otherwise, you will find a thousand Muslims in the front of my house to kill me. Who is stopping you? Who is holding you? What is holding you? That you are not a Muslim. Anyone who is filthy language, we will block you. So, ISIS is not Islamic. ISIS is not Islam. ISIS, look, look at the article, millions of articles. When all of us, we knew that Muhammad, he said, I am being victorious by terror. ISIS never killed a human being without quoting Muhammad or the Quran, which is the Quran, Muhammad anyway. So when they deny ISIS, they are denying Islam. When they say Islam mean peace, they are denying Muhammad too. When a Muslim, he don't do jihad, he is not following Muhammad. Muhammad actually, he forbid them from taking the Quran with them to a Muslim, to non-Muslim countries. It is haram to take the Quran with you to non-Muslim countries. Muslims today, uh, they always come with an excuse. And the excuse is, well, ISIS, they are not following Islam because they are killing Muslims. Muhammad, he killed Muslims. Ali, he killed Muslims. Uthman, he killed Muslims. And the Muslims, they killed Uthman. And the Muslims, they killed Ali. 
Who is the one who was killing who? Always Muslims kill Muslims. Since when Muslim cannot kill? And actually, isn't it the Quran says that Muslim can kill Muslims? If one of them being unjust to the other? Hmm? So they try to wash their hands from the stupidity of Muhammad, but we are after Muhammad and we will expose him. And I will make more books. You know, I, I'm so glad really actually my books translated to all languages in the world, almost. I mean, Persian, Russian, Chinese, uh, like we were still waiting for Korean, Japanese, I hope soon. So look at this. <clears throat> can you uh, uh, show the hadith? Yeah, we can show the hadith about that. Hold on. They are not Muslims. Those are not Muslims. They are they are they are fabricators. Nobody there to practice Islam. Nobody there to practice. Not even in Saudi Arabia. Can you name for me one Christian in Saudi Arabia? He pages here. Zero in Emirat Jizya. Actually, Emirat just yesterday they changed the day of or the off days to be Saturday and Sunday. It's not it's not Friday no more. What is the Islamic countries? They do not exist. Let us see the hadith about forbidden of carrying the Quran to Muslim to non-Muslim land. <clears throat> Let us see. Actually, they are even forbidden to live between us. Forbidden. Read with me and love. This is the garbage of Muhammad. Exposing Muhammad. Here the translate saying, I am not responsible for any Muslim, but the fact it doesn't say I'm not responsible. It says, I wash my hands from any Muslim who stay among the one who they could fall. It is so a different translation, just to show you how translation changed in a, in a dramatic way. Um, it says here the message of Allah that uh, meant general uh, troop okay and then he says himself who sought protect himself by pressing demonstrate no 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 okay said I am innocent from any Muslim who live with the mushrik I am innocent which means they are and they will say to you this is the for sure but still this is accepted and the other one is not daif so muhammad he washed his hand from anyone who live between the non-believers different hadith says and this is sahih hadith muhammad saying i am the one who live with non-muslims he is non-muslim Do you see it? The one who live with non-Muslim, he is not a Muslim. So those who, you tell me that uh, in uh, you know they live in Europe, they live according to your prophet, they aren't Muslims and they will go to hell because you are not allowed to live in a country. The majority of it is not under the Sharia law. And Muslims is the one who follow Sharia law, not the one who go to the mosque. The one who go to the mosque and don't follow Sharia Allah, they, 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 they are called munafiqeen in Islam, they will go to hell. Do you see it, Abdul? So, 
if we go and do little study, we will find a zero Muslim will go to heaven, according to Muhammad. All Muslim countries, they have agreement and they sign agreement and they call us friends and they give us hugs and they, their president. You know, when, when Donald Trump, he went there, they bring 65 president, Muslim president. So Donald Trump, he can school them. He schooled them. He talked to them as a bunch of kids. Uh, let us see. <clears throat> Let us see this hadith here. The Apostle of Allah forbid to travel with the copy of the Quran to the enemy territory. Do you see it? <laughs> it's forbidden. The Muslim these days they are giving the Quran in the street to people. Muhammad says you don't you don't do that. <laughs> Why? Because the enemy of Allah will hold it. <laughs> and do you see it? It's all over. So, you know, when the Muslim they speak about Islam, we ask them what Islam you are talking about. Who is the Muslim? He follows Islam. If you if you watch the video intro, they ask Zach and Naik, music is haram, movies is haram, uh, uh, singing is haram. So what we will do for fun? He says, it is haram. The only halal is as it, it, the only fun is allowed is the is the halal fun. <laughs> what is that food? <laughs> and name for me one Muslim. He don't listen to music. He don't watch videos. And not only that, he don't watch porn. According to Google, number one country in the world watch porn is Pornistan, which means Pakistan. Actually, the Muslims get upset because Fox News called Pakistan Pornistan. Uh, let us see, find the news. The problem when you search for porn stand uh, Fox and News, you, you find nothing but uh, but porn websites. Let us be careful here. Okay. Top. Just to show you the news. Here we go. Number one nation, and this is not from Fox News, by the way, this is from Google, Google search engine. Number one nation, sexy search called Pornistan. And then what the Muslim they do, they say, shame in the Western media. Look, it's, but this is the truth. Shame in the Western media. Is it you who search number one? Not only that, number one search for sex with donkeys. Not even porn. Sex with donkeys or rape, child rape. Perverted nation. Read what they are searching for. Pakistan is the top dog search for pre person for horse sex horse sex i mean why a muslim he want to watch horse sex and they are the top since 2004 brother alhamdulillah donkey sex <laughs> since 2007 rape pictures since 2004 Rape sex 
since 2004 to 2009 child sex between 2000 this is an old article by the way i mean <laughs> and are, we are high in population <laughs> You are high in population, I have to admit. <laughs> I don't know if you are counting donkeys and uh, horses because I don't know what kind of population is searching for sex with donkey and sex with horse and you know. Yeah, you see? So we have a high birth and we are the quality of mankind. Mm -hmm. And the prophet, he says, I will be proud about you. I'm sure he is proud because he was a rapist too. So. Anyway, we will cut the video shorter because already it's long. Uh, so Christians, if Muslim they mention to you, the Pharaoh was preserved miracle in the Quran. What you Christian should say, let us summarize the video. Anyone remember? You ask the Muslim, who is, what is the name of this Pharaoh? What is the name of the Pharaoh? The Muhammadan will say, it is Ramses. It is who? It is Ramses, brother. So, as long as it is Ramses, and now we know his name, ask them, what is the wife of Ramses? Ramses the second, remember? Ramses the second. Ramses the second. I don't know what, what, what moment this guy, he mentioned the word Ramses. I forgot. But in this video here. So, Ramses the second, then you ask them, okay, as long as it is Ramses the second, what is the wife of Ramses the second? According to Islam, they will say, Asiya bin Muhazim. Get them busted immediately and says, well, this guy, his wife was Nefertiti and she was not a Muslim and she was not a Jew. And all of us, we know Nefertiti and what happened to Nefertiti and who the husbands she have and you know, I mean, the fantasies they live. So this is a clear proof that Muhammad is a fraud. So always when they mention Ramses II, you mention to them, get them busted by Nefertiti. And you go, if you go on YouTube, you will find that nobody really thought about it this way, right? I, I'm sure none of you heard before such an answer, right? Because all of us, we try to focus in uh, the, the Pharaoh and the, the, the error in the Quran of Haman, how Haman was existing at the time of the Pharaoh when Haman was a, 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 a person live in, in the, the, the Babylon uh, 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 land uh, for the Assyrian, how he became the assistant of the Pharaoh, stupid in error. So we always focus in the name, the Pharaoh, and what is around the Pharaoh, but we don't focus on the wife. So today I decide to take you a step farther so we can get them busted even better and easier. The second they mention Ramses, the second, ask them what is the name of his wife according to your prophet. They will say the prophet, he said her name is Asiya bin Muhazim, and then says to them, well, this is proving that Muhammad is a fraud because the woman, her name is Nefertiti. All right. So I hope today we gave you a new tool to refute the Abdul. And uh, Abdul, let us bet. In my previous video, I challenged the Muslim to tell us what is the front passages of the women Allah will import from heaven. Until now, I got no answer from Muslims. I want to know what the front passages mean. One of you, he posed from dictionary, I think, saying that the front passages is the entry of the vaginal place. I don't know if this is from dictionary or where, but women, they have a front passages, and this is why Allah will import them from hell. We are waiting for Muslims to tell us what those front passages is. And for sure, leave your comment about Nefertiti and how her name became Asiya bin Muzahim and how the Muslim they claim that she was from the children of Israel and how some they claim that she became a believer and how the name changed and what the heck is that? And not only her name changed, even the name of her father, even the name of her grandfather, even the name of her grand grand grandfather. I mean, this is how messy, stupid this cult is. Everything is lawful as long we are promoting Islam. Islam without lies dies. Remember that. With this, I want to say thank you. And don't forget not to support us. We appreciate people who don't support us more than those who support for sure. For Allah love those who don't support Christian Prince. And I'm sure many of you love Allah. So thank you very much for being here. And I will see you soon again, maybe tomorrow. Or maybe today afternoon. You, don't, you never know. 
You know, if uh, if uh, if I felt I need to go again, I will come again. I am passionate about serving the people, helping the people, Christians and Muslims. We love Muslims. We don't hate them. Islam is a stupid, but Muslims are victims. So we are not here really. Uh, maybe we joke. We you know it's funny. It's stupid. What we can do? I mean, I cannot. I cannot stop myself from laughing. But you think I'm laughing at you? It's up to you. But I'm laughing at Muhammad specifically. I'm laughing at a God who cannot maintain his words. A God who says stupid things. A God who thinks that the name of the Pharaoh is Pharaoh. A God who thinks that the wife of the Pharaoh, is, her name is Asiya, when her name is Nefertiti. Everything your God he have about history is wrong. Mary, she became the sister of Aaron. Mary, she became the daughter of Omran. Who is Omran? Omran is the father of Moses. So the Muslim, they say, when the Quran says that Mary, she is the daughter of Omran, the sister of Aaron, sorry. At that time, brother, they used to call them by their great ancestors, the great prophet, Abdul. But how Muhammad, he changed even the name of the father of Mary. And how the father of Moses, Omran, became the father of Mary. How you can fix that? This is a stupid prophet come with the stupid prophecies and today is the time of the stupid ones to become prophet bill gate became prophet look bill gate people they put him bill gate prophesy i mean the guy is an engineer software he became a prophet just because he have money that's it everybody is prophet by the way let me prophesy for you i'm going to go tomorrow mostly live on air let us see if this prophecy will come to be true or not all right and uh, by the way, let me make my prophecy more accurate because the Muslim might use against me. Uh, I might go tomorrow or the day after or the day after or the day after or the day after. OK, and uh, hey, uh, somebody asked me, hey, Christian Prince, are you going to die normally or you will be killed? OK, let me say a prophecy now. Uh, I will say uh, <clears throat> I will read a prophecy for you from the Quran about me. Uh, <clears throat> We are typing in English again. They asked Muhammad, how you will die, Prophet? <laughs> he said, I will be killed or I will die normally. <laughs> That's deep. That's deep. Like, what the heck? I mean, the guy, obviously, he knew how he will die. There is, an, it, there is a third option. He Muslim, is there the third option? This is a prophecy of God. If he died or been slain, like what? How Muhammad he come with this man? How is God in you this future? If he died or were slain, if there's a third option. Like once upon the time, a Muslim came to the Prophet and he said to him, my wife, she is going to give birth soon. Prophet, do you know what the gender is? The Prophet said, she is going to be either male or female. The Abdul, he said, praise be to Allah, only you can give such an answer. How he knew that? Beyond intelligence beyond imagination it is coming from the high god not from the low god this is ah, will open your heart to believe and will make you think about how in the word allah he come with such a prophecy if the prophet muhammad die or slain because usually there's many other options through as an example what if the man muhammad he die from eating too much is that normal death no what if muhammad he die because his 70 wives they jump in the top of him can you say they slay him no can you say this is normal death no what if the prophet he die when he is doing intercourse he enter and he lost his course there. Is that a normal death? I mean, Abdul, I know you will find an excuse. But obviously, 
your prophet do not know how he will die. And later we find that he died by a poison a woman she bought from Walmart. By the way, I changed uh, Home Depot because I found that Home Depot, they are not selling cheap poison no more. And there's no way this Jewish woman, she will spend more than five dollars on Muhammad. So I believe she bought the poison from Walmart, you know, uh, something like made in China. And uh, it says here, the prophet in his element, which he died, used to say, Oh, Aisha, I still feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar. And at this time, I feel my orta is being cut off. Now, the smart Muslim, they refute us, by the way. They say, <laughs> Christian Prince, this has happened four years after he ate the poison. It's chippe, Christian Prince. Hey, Abdul, you are saying to me now, it's your prophet who is chippe. Because it's not me who is saying he died because of the poison. It's your prophet saying that. So when the Abdul, they make a video to refute me, saying Christian Prince is a chippe. It's chippe, Christian Prince, listen to us. This has happened four years after the prophet ate the poison. How stupid you think that he was being killed by the poison? You see how stupid they are? They just call their prophet stupid because the one who is saying that Abdul is your prophet, not me. I'm just reading his statement. And he's a prophet. I mean, if the prophet, he knew what is in the belly of the woman, he don't know what is in his belly. Billy Jones. May Allah belly you. Anyway, we say thank you for, and by the way here, Muhammad, he predicted how he would die in the Quran. Just wait. Muhammad, he says that Allah told him if Muhammad is lying, fabricating Quran, Allah will cut his artery. Like, what the heck? Brother and the Christian, they say no prophecies come from Prophet Muhammad. Here we go. The Quran says, chapter 69, and look, it's a stack 69. I mean, this is 60 and you know it. Anything have to do with 69 have to do with Muhammad. 69. It says here, if Muhammad, he made fabrication, he made his own words, claiming that it is Quran, we should certainly size him by his right hand, and we should certainly cut off his artery of his heart. And then we find that Muhammad, he died by poison from Walmart. Please, somebody contact Walmart and tell them not to sell this poison no more. It's killing profits. I'm really upset from Walmart. I know, by the way, the owner of Walmart, his name is Wall, and uh, his last name is Mart. So, you know, like I talked to him, I talked to his son, you know, his name is his son, his name is uh, uh, cashier guy. Uh, so I said to him, hey, cashier, uh, you know, Where's your dad? He says, uh, oh, uh, my dad now is buying more poison. I said, you idiot, what's wrong with you? You know, Walmart people. Why are you are buying more poison? He says, uh, my dad, he says, there's more and more profit need to die. You know, and there's a lot of customers. There's a lot of Jews coming here and they buy those poison. I said, oh, okay. So the Jews, they, they are the customers who buy poison from Walmart? He says, absolutely. I said, okay, well, why they are doing that? He says, because they are killing a lot of profit. I said, where do you get this from? He said, from the Quran. I said, from the Quran? Where in the Quran? Man? Are you talking about the Quran says the Jews, they kill a lot of a prophet by poison? He said, yes, it says that, you know, and he, he gave me a verse. And I don't remember the name because, but I need to ask a guy, his name is Christian Prince. He remember the Quran very well. So I asked Christian Prince and he told me, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's many verses in the Quran, actually. Chapter 2, verse number 87. Chapter 5, verse number 70. And chapter uh, 33, verse 26. Like, what the heck with this religion? The Jews, they killed many prophets by poison? Or by other way? Any Muslim can tell us how many they killed and can you give us a name? Like who? Like who? Some you called imposters and others you slay. Others you slay who? Like who? who? Hey Muslims, leave in the comment later. Tell me the names of the prophet which you killed by the Jews according to your religion. Not, not according to my book. Remember, we have the Quran. You Muslim, you claim that Allah, he saved Jesus. So the Jews, they slay who? Who, 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 Santa Claus. Oh boy. Commercial break? I, I know I don't have it ready here, the commercial break. But we have this one here. You know, we, we play this uh, introduction and people like it. And our friend here, uh, you mad, he, he made the, at the end, like you go to Patreon. But nobody go there. People, they, uh, people, they stop watching. They watch only the beginning. 
you know, but nobody really support. <laughs> they are like Muhammad. They support by Hadith. Take care, guys. God bless you. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him.